Howdy folks. Today we're going to go over how to upgrade Postgres from one major version to another major version. We'll be using PG upgrade to do this. Postgres makes it very simple to, to make to do the upgrades. Uh, PG upgrade basically just handles everything for you. We just need to set a few things up um, to get started. So let's do that now. So in this video, we're going to be going over upgrading from Postgres 11 to Postgres 12. So if you look, I have Postgres 11 currently installed. Uh, er. So you can see I have Postgres 11 installed. Um, I'm using CentOS 7 at the moment. So your, your, your operating system might be a little bit different if you're using CentOS 08 or uh, Ubuntu or something like that. Uh, so, so one thing we're gonna need to do is we need to know where our data directory is. So we, can, we need this now, but we'll, we'll use it in just a little bit. Most of the time when you do a default Postgres install, your data directory is gonna be stored in like uh, var lib pg sql. Uh, which you can see I have 11 installed and then, and then um, and you can see I have uh, the data directory there. Uh, so that, that's one way to find it. If you don't have that, you can, um, you can log into Postgres and get the data directory from there. So we can just do show data And you can see we get the var lib pg sql 11 data. So that's our data, that's our current data directory. We're gonna need that in just a sec. So, so make sure you know where your data directory is. Let's get out of that. Let's go log back in the main user. All right. So, so the next thing we need to do, we just need to install Postgres 12. So again, this depending on your operating system might be slightly different. And we can just do Postgres, do that, Postgres 12 server. Uh, since we already have Postgres installed, that's all we need to do. If you were starting from scratch, you would need to do take a few other steps, but all right, let's and, and install. All right, so we've got Postgres 12 installed. So next we want to do is we want to stop so we, now we have Postgres 11 and 12 installed, but, but 11 is still running. So what we want to do is we want to stop 11, Postgres 11 from, from running. So we can just do uh, Postgres 11, uh, Postgres equal 11. Yeah, perfect. So we can do that. All right, so now, so now we don't have Postgres running at all. All right, next thing we need to do, we just need to initialize Postgres 12. And that's very simple. And these are just install, basic installation things for, for Postgres. So I'm not getting into too much on what, what th these do. Um, Cause this more is, is about upgrading, but this, this essentially, this is going to initialize our data directory now. So now if we do look for our data directory, now we have 12 there where before we didn't have 12. So good. So we've got that now. All right. So now we're, we're actually ready to do the upgrade. Um, so what you want to do is you want to switch to your Postgres user. Most of, most of the time you're going to have a Postgres user unless you've done some different configuration by default or outside of the defaults. Um, but for the most part, you're going to need to just log in as the Postgres user. And you can do that by switching. All right, so now we're, we're logged in as the Postgres user. All right, so now we're ready to perform the upgrade. So let's go, let's go to the docs. So the docs have, we basically, we, we want to run PG upgrade now. 
So you have PG upgrade, and there's a few different configuration options we want to do. The main ones we're going to look at are the the uh, the old bin directory, the new bin directory, the old data directory, new data directory, and then the check flag and the link flag. So the check flag allows us to just do a dry run. So we're going to do that first. So basically it just does the PG upgrade, just make sure it just does a few different things to, to let you know that, all right, the upgrade is good to go. You can, you can proceed to actually do the physical upgrade. This link command is, is very handy. Um, if, if, if you don't use the link command and you have like, let's say a 500 gigabyte database, when you perform the actual upgrade without link, it's going to copy another 500 gigs. So if you started with 500, a 500 gigabyte database to start and you do the upgrade to 12, you're going to have one terabyte of space taken up. So I encourage you to use the link. Um, there, there are some pitfalls with that. If, 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 the, if the upgrade dies, then you can't revert. Uh, but hopefully you already have like a snapshot or some type of backup of all your data that you don't really have to worry about that. So I would encourage you to always use link. Um, definitely if you're on larger databases. Basically it uses hard links from Postgres 11 to 12 initially. Um, so that's good. So yeah, so the bin directory, it should be the same on most machines. Um, so so let's just do the, let's just do a PG upgrade. So you want to run it as the Postgres user. And the other thing is you want to make sure you're using the PG upgrade of the version you're going to be going to. So like we have PG upgrade installed for 11 and 12 right now. We want to make sure we use the 12 upgrade. So we can do that by, by just using the direct, the direct path to it. Uh, user Postgres 12 then PG upgrade. Perfect. So now we want to do the old bin directory, which is going to be located. So we want the PG Postgres 11 bin directory, which is going to be user PG SQL 11 bin. And then the new bin directory, uh, which is going to be user PG SQL 12 bin, and then the, the old data directory. Like I said before, when we when we needed to find the data directory, so this, this is why. So our data directory was at var lib PG SQL 11 data. And our new data directory is gonna be var lib PG SQL 12 data. All right, so we've got those parameters. So we've got the defaults that Postgres is suggesting here. So we've got those. So what we want to do is we, we want to do we want to run it with the link because we want to just do a hard hard link instead of making a whole new copy. So to do that we just do dash dash link, and then we do then we want to use the check. The check is just performs a dry run. So so let's let's add check. You always want to do check first, just to make sure. You don't want to just go in blind. Um, and my, my database is pretty small. I just have like one table with a million records in it just for demo purposes. But this, this could take a few minutes, depending on your, your how much data you have. So let's run that now. So perfect. So everything came up. Everything came up okay. You can see it does, does a few different checks. So we did our check. We, we, we are ready to do our upgrade now. So again, before you do the upgrade, you want to make sure you have a backup, of course, just, just to make sure everything goes okay. And doing the PG upgrade is, is very quick. I, I did a t almost a terabyte data, database cluster the other day, and it took maybe 20, 25 minutes. Uh, so so it's, it's pretty, pretty fast. It uses rsync in the background to just do copies. It doesn't do a PG dump or PG restore, essentially. Uh, basically, just copies the schema from every database and then, and then uses rsync to, to transfer files over. All right, so we are ready to, to perform our actual upgrade. So let's remove the check so we don't need the check flag anymore. Just want link. So perked. 
Now our, up, our, our database is upgraded to Postgres 12. So awesome. You see that that didn't take that long at all. That was just a very small database that I had or a big database cluster. But even if you had a terabyte of data, it's not going to take much more than 20 minutes, even that. So, so, it, so it's pretty fast. But there's, there's a couple of things that does happen after this that, that are very, very important. Um, so you see it, it outputted an analyze new cluster.sh and a delete old cluster.sh file. The delete old cluster will just, once you're ready, you can just delete the old cluster, the PG11, because you don't need it anymore. But this analyze new cluster is very important because when you do the upgrade, it does not copy any of the Postgres statistics for running queries over, which is very important. So when you do like an analyze, think of analyze, um, when you do that, so Postgres can determine how, what, what type of query it needs to do and how, how, how it needs to, what strategy it needs to use essentially. That's not copied over. So basically you're just, you're, your database is gonna be really slow at this point. So Postgres outputs this analyze new cluster, which you, you definitely wanna, you wanna make sure you run. So let's do that now. And this could take a little while. Like if you have a very large database, this could take a few hours. Uh, oh, all right. So, so the Postgres, so I got an error here and that's because there's no Postgres running right now. So it can't do any like vacuuming or analyzing right now. So let's, let's get out of here. Let, let's start our Postgres 11 now or Postgres 12. All right. So now we've got that started. So let's switch back to our Postgres user. And now let's run the analyze. Now you see, I just had a couple of tables here, but it's basically going to do, it's going to do a gen generating minimal optimizer statistics. Then it's going to do generating medium optimizer statistics and then generating default full optimizer statistics. So every database, it'll perform three different operations on each database on the cluster. And there's a couple of options you can do in here as well. Um, you can see that was very quick on my database. If you had a larger database, this could definitely take a few hours depending on how long your, or how big your database is. But that is a very important step is to make sure you run an analyze after because none of the PG statistics are, are copied over and your database will be really slow otherwise. All right, so we've got that. So the next thing we want to do is we just like, so we, we go in and we can verify that our, our, our database is working. I'm not going to do that. Um, because it kind of, we basically did by running analyze, so it can it can perform operations on our Postgres 12. Um, so we got it up there. So now let's just delete all our old cluster. We don't need it. Boom. So now it's deleted. So now we have technically upgraded. Um, if you're upgrading to 12, that they, they they've changed how they do the indexes, uh, or the index uh, planner, I believe. So what you want to do is you're going to want to run a, a re-index as well on, on the database. Um, so you can just log in. So let's just do you want to do this for every table to have that. So you can just do, or actually I don't want to do that. I need to, I have a table named will. So let's just do, or a, or a database name will, sorry. You wanna do it for every database, not table. Although you could do it on a table level. Um, so you can just do re-index database. Boom. And that could take a little while depending on your, uh, your, your uh, size of your databases or database clusters or database. Uh, yeah, so that, that just re-indexes re everything to, to get to the new, 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 uh, the new re-indexing that's in, introduced in, in um, uh, Postgres 12. All right, so that's, that's basically it. That's how you upgrade Postgres a major version to another major version with PG upgrade. Very simple.